S. Dot Fire Big Mike, Fish, Beans, and Fiends. Cortez G, the head of state. I'm with my man. It's Corey, uh, hip hop impresario, critic, editor, whatever you want to call it. I do it all. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, all right. We're going to get into it, man, real quickly. Uh, first debate probably be, uh, we're going to go back to the 90s on this one. Okay. All right. Double L. Two classes of double L. All eyes on me. The life out of the field. Which one is double? Man, I'm going to have to go with all eyes on me. Simply based on the fact that Pac was a visionary. He was talking about real life stuff. And it, it transcended what he was talking about in California. See, life after death was cool, but Big only knew what was going on in Bed Stop, Brooklyn, New York. But Pop took it to a whole other level because even though we're in the dirty, dirty, we still working with Pop because he was relevant. He was relevant to what we you know, were going through. You know, in the hood, out the hood, you know. The same old, you know what, in the same video. Hey, you all experienced it, but Pop said it 20 years before it even came to be. Because he saw it. He saw it coming. Yeah, you did that. What's the thing? What's the thing? What's your thought? Man, you know what? That life out the devil, man. It still goes on, still to this day. Right? But, I'm about to agree with your man, man. That all eyes on me. Still a class. Both of my classes, but I just remember when it came out. Matter of fact, when it first came out, you know, you had fresh out the joint, they did the time, but uh, the sodomy or temple sodomy or whatever. And uh, man, a lot of people kind of woke Pac off. You know what I'm saying? So when he came back, it was kind of like that was a counter blow to all the haters. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, Man, it, it, it's just not a song on there from uh, Scandalous, Thug Passion. Uh, it's all about you. Married the most wanted. I mean, that, that CD is just full of class. You know what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong, not to put mad on Life After Death. I mean, that's a good song. I love, you know, of course, Hip Hop Time. Uh, uh, going back to Cali. Uh, uh, I think it was Sky for me and the song he had on that with T-Sweat and Carl Thomas, uh, The World is Filled. Uh, man, I thought the bell went hard, don't get me wrong. But, uh, man, I got to get all eyes on me. Yeah. I mean, you know, and like I said, you know, it, it, was just, it was just relevant at the time, man. You know, it was early 90s, man. I was talking about this stuff is still going on today. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Even you know, like you said, he came out the end and he hit you with a uh, trade war story. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's my favorite one on all yeah. eyes on yeah. trade war stories. You know, Captain Brother, I despise nigga my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like he was telling you, and this, you know, this is where I've been. And we in a train war store, man, you ain't, you know, you're not real like I am. Right. You, know, you had been through the struggle because Pop, Pop was in the struggle, in the, you know, in the pen and out there. Right. Every day was a struggle right. for him, you know, yeah. because one thing, you know, all eyes were on him because he raised by a former black count. So, you know, the target already on your back. And the target was on your mama. You know what I'm saying? So it passed on down. So when you came, you know, when you came into the world, you know, when Pop came into the world, you came in. You know, he came in already at a nigga. You know what I'm saying? He had to build up to it. Pop was the only one. He did it. I, I think he did it in every, every album that he, you know, that he came out with because it was from the soul. Like it wasn't nothing that he was just making no money. Now, man, you got to watch it. What I call it. You got to you know, you know, they just throw some stuff out there because they got a lot more people. Right. But Pop put something out there and it's real, whether you accept it or not, that's your choice. Right, right, right. You know, right. but he, he still put it out there. He never compromised who he was. And that's why I got respect. Right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, there you have it, man. Hey, all eyes on me.
Everybody want to join on in on this debate? Hey, hit us up on Twitter and HH Avenue Debate. You can follow us on Facebook, of course. And uh, also, you can follow us on Twitter. So, uh, anybody got any comments or anything? I love you down here, big Mike Fish, Mr. Fish. They have wings joint in the field. Catfish are delicious. Got that right. So y'all come out a little bit. We're gonna be back for a minute. I'm gonna give away wings plates like I got it like that. I check it off the phone out now. So we'll give you one more week. Y'all hot it. Come out on the face. It's like real face.